Hey guys, today I'm going to show you the best stack you can use to build your SaaS and not pay a single dollar until you get paying users. A lot of people seem to think that they have to pay uh, any amount of money to get their project off the ground, which is not true. There are plenty of free things you can use uh, right now for free to get your project production ready and open for paying users for free. So to get started with hosting is Vercel. Vercel has an awesome free tier you can use to deploy your application and it is by far the best uh, developer experience right now. The next is Auth. Um, you can use Supabase or Firebase. There's a lot of different Auth providers. I prefer owning my Auth, meaning all my user data is stored in my database that I control, simply because I don't want to have to deal with all these external providers like Superbase or Firebase. Next Auth makes it really easy to add social signup, like with Google, Discord, or GitHub. Super easy, so you don't have to mess with uh, Superbase keys or Firebase, anything like that. So that's why I would go with Next Auth uh, for my Auth provider. Um, the next thing is storage. So if your SaaS requires file uploads, you can use Upload Thing, which is a great library you can use to allow your users, users to easily upload files. And they have an awesome pricing tier. You get, how much do you get? You get two gigabytes of storage for free and then a hundred gigabytes of storage uh, just for $10 a month with Upload Thing. So if you require users to upload images, this is definitely your best free option. Uh, the next is PlanetScale for your MySQL database. Uh, Vercel also has a database, but I prefer PlanetScale. They make it super easy to uh, deploy new branches and stuff like that. So that's why I would go with PlanetScale for the MySQL stuff. The next thing is payments. Uh, you can use Stripe or this, uh, recently I found a new one called Lemon Squeezy which is basically like Stripe, uh, but with a little bit better fees. So Stripe is a payment provider, which you can easily integrate into your website and is completely free because Stripe takes a percentage of the payments you get. I think it's 1% or something like that. So you, they only get paid when you make money, which is great. Same thing with Lemon, uh, Lemon Squeezy. The next thing is email. You can get a free uh, email address or you can send emails for free using Resend. So if you have emails you need uh, sent for like login or transactional emails, you can use Resend, which is the best uh, platform right now for developers to send emails. It has a super uh, easy to use API and the pricing is free. So you get 3000 emails a month for free. So you should never go over this limit uh, until you get paying users. So I think once you get over 3000 emails a month, you should have at least one paying user. Um, so, and the next pricing tier is only $20. So even if you do go over, it's only $20. Uh, the next is your database ORM. Now this is pretty controversial. Uh, there's Prisma and Drizzle. I use Prisma just, as, just because that's what I've started with. I know of Prisma, which is what I'm gonna put it out there. So you can choose which one you like. Prisma has its advantages and disadvantages. I might make a separate video on why you might use Drizzle over Prisma or Prisma over Drizzle, but those are your two options, uh, two of the best options for an ORM. Um, and then finally, the framework, which I forgot to put at the beginning of the video, uh, which is obviously Next.js is the best front-end framework you can use. Um, as you see here, create full stack web applications pretty easily. Uh, so I believe that is the best stack you can use to create a SaaS for free. And all of these are scalable. So once you go over the free tier with all of these, there's a paid option available, so you don't have to switch. So if you go over, um, let's say the free tier of plan scale, you can always upgrade. So there's no switching. So you can lock in to all of these and then it scales with you, which is why I think this stack is one of the best to create uh, SaaS applications in 2023.